Triple E material for Blender is an easy and powerful solution for building complex material setups. It could get heavy on your system, so make sure that your machine is strong enough. Of course, it also depends on what you are using it for. If you have at least GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, you should be good to go. If previewing a material in a 3D viewport is not your priority, then you can work on a lower specs machine. Let me explain. Sometimes you will only be interested in generating various texture maps like diffuse and roughness maps because you'll be using them in another package. This means that the previewing material output through Blender's 3D viewport render preview is really not that important since you'll be able to preview each pass separately. AAA material is designed to be used with cycles, although it will work with Eevee as well. Just have in mind that the results will be slightly different. So, welcome to AAA material, or Smartterial for friends. We hope you'll enjoy using it. If there is something you don't understand or if you have a suggestion on how to make things better, please get in touch via support channel such as Discord or Bunica Network website. Before you continue, please go through a list of terms that you should get familiar with. It should be rather easy to understand how things work, especially if you already have some experience with shaders and materials. AAA. What it actually means is almost anything awesome. But the only real purpose here is for you to find the most important node groups and inputs more easily. You know, mind mapping stuff. Top refers to top layer, mid refers to middle layer, and bot refers to bottom layer. Guest graphic. Usually a black and white image that you can add to your setup for additional color, roughness, metallic and bump control. Lacquer damage, this one just adds an additional flavor to the surfaces that need to have even more imperfections. Triple S, subsurface scattering. Overpaint color or mask allows you to set the color on top of all other colors, while still maintaining the roughness and bump values. Mapping and direction will determine how your mask will be applied to an object. You can change it any way you like. Mask base is what you start with. It is among the most important elements of your setup, since it can affect details, roughness, metallic and color influence. If you are after an edge wear only, try setting sliders at a very low value, and slightly increase. Mask structure defines details or the border structure of the mask. All the sliders can drastically change the appearance of your mask. The most important inputs are masks. You don't have to limit yourself with the existing procedural masks. You can build your own or even use black and white images. Color inputs can be images as well. You can even use masks as color inputs. For example, use Mix RGB node to combine solid color with AAA Rust Bump slash Roughness mask. If you set blending to multiply, you might get something similar to Rust texture. Alternatively, you can use Rust image texture. Outputs are super important for many reasons, and here are just some of them. First, they allow you to work much faster because you can preview exactly what you are adjusting. Second, you can use them to bake passes separately, which is great because that way you'll be also able to recreate materials in Blender and other software, almost exactly as you see them. Third, in case you want to push things even further, you can use any of the outputs as an input for more complex setups, like when you're mixing more than one material. Smarterial node group contains a complex node tree setup, but all the most important controls are exposed for you to play with. Advanced users can go inside the group by pressing tab. When it comes to guest graphics, you'll be able to change the texture coordinates as well as how the image is extrapolated past to its original bounds. Here we've combined fingerprints mask with dust slash dirt. Try plugging it into dust slash dirt mask base reroute node, which is connected to AAA dust slash dirt mask socket and see how fingerprints will appear on dust slash dirt. If you select the node group and press tab to get inside of it, you'll be able to change the texture coordinate as well as how the image is extrapolated past its original bounds. Please check accompanying folders for the assets such as black and white image masks and color textures. We'll probably add more in the future. If you have any suggestions on that matter, please get in touch.